This is AutoLine Daily, reporting on all aspects of the global automotive industry. Well, looks like the strike at General Motors is coming to a close, but it's not over yet. The union will now put the proposed contract up for a vote by the workers, and they'll stay out on strike until it's ratified. The union did not want to take the risk of ending the strike, then have workers reject the contract, only have to resume the strike again. So they're staying out until it's ratified. GM really sweetened the pot to get a settlement. Strikers will get an $11,000 signing bonus and 3% pay raises for the first two years of the contract and 4% lump sum payments for the final two years. And you know, labor strikes don't just affect union workers and the company they're striking against. They hurt suppliers and car dealerships and they drive away customers. The Center for Automotive Research points out that General Motors lost market share every time it faced a strike from the UAW. And once that market share is gone, it lost it forever. GM has never been able to make it back up again. In the 1998 strike, GM lost 2% market share, or the equivalent of 340,000 sales in today's market. Strikes are not the only reason why GM lost market share, but the data shows they are a contributing factor. Tesla quietly increased the range of the Model 3 Standard Range Plus model. It will now go 250 miles on a charge, which is 10 more than before, although Tesla didn't say how it increased the range. The price of that model went up by $500 as well. The EV maker also changed the standard wheel option for the Model 3 performance to a dark gray 20-inch wheel and increased that vehicle's price by $1,000. We've seen a number of automakers adjust their forecasts for the year due to slowing sales and the need to invest in expensive technologies. And Renault is the latest. The automaker said its sales will drop between 3 and 4% this year, that operating margins would be at 5% instead of a goal of 6%, and it would reassess some of the midterm goals of its current five-year plan. The news sent shares of the automaker tumbling more than 13%. But as of now, Renault has not announced any job cuts. Ford is showing off some customized SEMA cars. And you know the aftermarket is huge and gives automakers a chance to show off what they've got. So it's no surprise Ford is strutting its stuff. It's debuting eight lowered or lifted models, including the Escape, Explorer, and Expedition, all with unique paint, wheels, and other options. The Air Design Escape gives a striking black-on-white paint job with 20-inch wheels and fender flares. Blood Type Racing customized its Explorer Limited Hybrid with black chrome wheels, tinted lights, and a snowboard rack. Mad Industries built its Expedition with beefy Nitto tires, a 50-inch light bar, and a rooftop tent. Check these out at SEMA starting on November 5th. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Acura has been around for 30 years, but it's hard to define what the brand stands for. So to learn how Acura is rebuilding itself and where it plans to expand its lineup, be sure to watch Auto Line This Week with John Ikeda, the vice president of Acura. You can watch that show right now on our website, autoline.tv, or you can find it on our YouTube channel. Subaru was forced to halt production at its main plant in Japan due to the typhoon that hit the country last weekend. While the plant wasn't affected, several of the company's suppliers suffered flood damage, which caused a part shortage. That facility builds the BRZ, Forester, Crosstrek, WRX, and Impreza. The shutdown is expected to last about a week. Subaru is the first automaker in Japan to idle production because of the typhoon, but other automakers could follow suit. Chinese battery maker Cattle is breaking ground on its first overseas factory in Germany. The facility is scheduled to produce lithium-ion batteries starting in 2022. Cattle has partnerships to supply batteries to BMW, Volkswagen, Daimler, Volvo, and Bosch, so it makes sense 
that it would, would want a factory in the same region as those companies. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.